Chapter 719, Grand Birthday. On the day of the birthday celebration, Alpine Mountain was boiling with excitement. One could only see a great banquet with countless tables prepared in the sky for just as many guests. This was a spectacular scene. The numerous big shots of the world sat in a particular order for this feast. The layout resembled something one would find in a heavenly court. These big shots quickly raised their cups to celebrate the Tree Father's birthday. The untouchable existences such as the Alchemy Kingdom, the giant Lonk Lan, and the Beastmaster Citadel all had people present at this feast. When the Tree Father appeared, he sat in the seat of honor. Another young man also appeared at this feast and sat down next to the Tree Father. This young man was none other than Li Kai. When the Tree Father appeared, the scene grew completely silent as everyone looked at him. Many people also set their gazes upon Li Kai, who was sitting by his side. Those who could sit near the front were all experts from imperial lineages, such as the Alchemy Kingdom, the giant Lonk Lan, and the Beastmaster Citadel. Only they were qualified to have the closest seats. However, a young man like Li Kai was actually able to sit next to the Tree Father. How prestigious was this position? This was much higher than the imperial lineages, even the direct disciples of the Tree Father could only stand next to him. But a junior like Li Kai was now seated with him side by side. This was a cause for surprise to many people. This puzzled many guests. They didn't know why a junior like Li Kai was qualified to occupy such a seat. That seat was even more prestigious than the ones for guests from the Alchemy Kingdom and a giant Long Clan. Though speculations ran wild in the minds of the guests, the feast was still quiet. No matter who they might be, no one dared to act presumptuously in the presence of the Tree Father, including those from the Imperial lineages. Compared to the other guests, the Imperial lineages knew a few more things, especially the Alchemy Kingdom who had a good relationship with the Tree Father. In fact, once the Alchemy Kingdom's guests saw the Tree Father appearing at the feast, he was quite startled because the kingdom had once tried to help the Tree Father. Although they were unsuccessful, the kingdom became privy to the secret behind the scenes. But now, the appearance of the Tree Father made this guest realize a thing or two. He looked at Li Kai in amazement. At this moment, the Tree Father cleared his throat and looked at the guests before slowly speaking. Today is this old man's 500,000 year birthday celebration, and everyone traveled from distant lands to get here. I am very grateful for this, so I offer everyone a toast. Having said that, he slowly raised his jade cup. All of the guests present quickly raised their cups as well. No one dared to show any disrespect. To many of the cultivators here, the Tree Father was an apex existence. No one dared to act disrespectfully lest they cause the Tree Father to become unhappy, especially on a day like this. The Huang Fu clan's second ancestor is here to celebrate the Demon Forefather's birthday. An announcement came after the Tree Father's toast. After obtaining the Tree Father's approval, an old man, along with ten other elderly men, appeared in an instant. This old man approached step by step while constantly exuding a volatile atmosphere. At first glance, he was not very eye-catching since he was thin and withered. Others could even feel the depleted vitality in his body. Nevertheless, he still induced quivers in the hearts of others, especially the ephemeral aura on his body. It gave quite a dreadful sensation as if it could shatter the galaxy in a heavenly firmament. Anyone would be startled when facing this terrifying aura. Despite being near death, he was still very frightening. He could pluck the stars from the sky and slay dragons. The other ten old men next to him were all powerful experts. Although they hid their blood energies, others could still sense their horrifying strength. Nevertheless, no matter how powerful they might be, these eleven old men all hid their orders and didn't dare to posture in this place. The Huang Fu clan's second ancestor. Many big shots were secretly alarmed after seeing this old man. One from the great power even murmured, the second ancestor of the Huang Fu clan actually came into being. This is a bit too scary. Although some great powers who had ties with the Huang Fu clan had never seen this old man before, they also felt chills after hearing the position of second ancestor. Rumor has it that the Huang Fu clan had four sealed ancestors. Outside of the ancestor who was killed at the giant bamboo country, there were three others. All four of them were said to be incredible virtuous paragons, and the sacred ancestor was the most unfathomable. In the Huang Fu clan, outside of the sacred ancestor, the second ancestor was the strongest. Once this type of great power's ancestor was sealed underground, they would not easily come into being. Breaking the blood era stones required them to pay a big price. However, the Huang Fu clan's second ancestor had arrived, causing many people to realize that he didn't come here solely for the birthday celebration. The Huang Fu clan is here to celebrate Demon Forefather's 500,000th birthday. The second ancestor came before the Tree Father and cupped his hands together, saying, A small token of respect, I hope Tree Father will accept. Having said that, he raised an ancient box with both hands. Even a virtuous paragon like him was only a junior in front of the Tree Father, who knew what was inside the box. However, the Tree Father didn't take a look. He only let a disciple next to him go and accept this gift. After the second ancestor gave his blessings, he solemnly said, The Tree Father's prestige is widespread and worthy of our admiration. However, there is one thing that I cannot keep silent over. The second ancestor caused a stir in the crowd as many spectators held their breaths. Everyone knew that something was about to happen. The Tree Father glanced at the second ancestor and slowly uttered, Speak your mind. The second ancestor took a deep breath and spoke in a solemn yet sentimental manner. Heor was the only inheritor of our Huang Fu clan, the one who would inherit our legacy. Not long ago, he represented our clan to come celebrate Demon Forefather's birthday, but who would have expected such terrible news of his death at Alpine Mountain? All the guests shivered at this statement. Everyone knew that this matter was not so simple. After hearing this declaration, the Maple King coughed and quickly said, Second ancestor, there is a misunderstanding regarding this. The second ancestor looked at the Maple King and lowered his tone. I don't know if it was a misunderstanding or not. But my Hayor died at Alpine Mountain. 
Can you take responsibility and give my Huang Fu clan an acceptable answer? Without a doubt, this virtuous paragon's second ancestor didn't put an expert of the Maple King's level in his eyes. He wanted to speak with the Tree Father, not someone like the Maple King. The Tree Father remained calm while staring at the ancestor. He didn't reveal his attitude when he replied, State your Huang Fu clan's wish. Today, I came after being asked by our sacred ancestor to find out about our Heyor's death. The second ancestor solemnly said, Our Heyor died miserably at the hand of this brat, but this brat has now become Demon Forefather's esteemed guest. I am very confused about this. Are you saying that my Alpine Mountain conspired with young noble Lee to murder your Huang Fu clan's main descendant? The Tree Father spoke lightly. The second ancestor quickly responded, No, no, that was not what I was implying. Alpine Mountain is righteous and noble with an unrivaled reputation, so how could it commit such an act? This brat's mouth could spew out clusters of lotuses and change wrong to right, so I'm afraid that a few disciples of the mountain could have been tricked by him. No one dared to say a word at this moment. Although many people here were famous characters, this was a conversation between those at the virtuous paragon level. They were not qualified to join in. The tree father remained indifferent and calmly asked, So how does your Huang Fu clan want to settle this? The second ancestor took a deep breath and solemnly said, Regarding my Heyor's death, we must investigate this matter or else the world will laugh at our Huang Fu clan's incompetence. The sacred ancestor's wishes for demon forefather to hand this brat over to our clan, to give us justice. Of course, my Huang Fu clan will not slander anyone. The ancestor paused for a moment before continuing. After Demon Forefather hands this brat over to our clan, we will investigate this matter. At that time, my clan and the Alchemy Kingdom will conduct a trial together. Even if he killed Heor, we will still give him a fair trial. The second ancestor went out of his way to bring up their sacred ancestor and the Alchemy Kingdom. This was a clear hint to others. Many people knew that their sacred ancestor was unfathomable. Moreover, the Huang Fu clan and the Alchemy Kingdom were in-laws. This was common knowledge to the rest of the stone medicine world. The Alchemy Kingdom? After hearing this, the Tree Father smiled as his gaze fell upon the guests from the Alchemy Kingdom. This guest quickly stood up and said, This junior cannot take charge of this matter and needs to report to the elders. He was not stupid enough to easily get involved in these muddy waters. The tree father withdrew his gaze and looked at the second ancestor to say, So, the Huang Fu clan wants my Alpine Mountain to hand over our guest. The second ancestor quickly answered, Please don't misunderstand, demon forefather. This brat has ulterior motives. He mixed in with the guests, aiming to cause rifts between the sects. This person killed my Hei over at Alpine Mountain in order to besmirch Alpine Mountain's unparalleled reputation. The brat is neither a disciple nor a guest of the mountain. He is just a vicious brat with diabolical intentions. Alpine Mountain shouldn't tolerate such a cruel and malicious junior like this, wouldn't you say, Demon Forefather? There was a reason why the second ancestor appeared here so suddenly. The big shots also understood the implications behind his words and, at the same time, found the answer to a few of their questions. 